Hello, YouTubers. This is Triple Seven Daha Forever coming at you with another highly anticipated and highly recommended model. Today, I'll be doing a review on the Gemini Jets Delta Airlines Boeing 767-300ER Extended Range, featuring the blended wingnuts in a 1/200 scale model. This is my second Delta Boeing 767-300ER model that I purchased from Troy's Toys, who stores based out of Olin Park, Kansas, here in the United States of America. And his website address is www.troystoysinc.com. But first, allow me to share some information about the history of Delta, if you would please. Delta is an American based airline that was founded on May 30th, 1924, as Hoff Dahl Industries Incorporated in Macon, Georgia. Then the company moved to Monroe, Louisiana in 1925. Then commenced operations on June 17, 1929. Then relocated its corporate headquarters to Atlanta, Georgia in 1941. Delta is currently the seventh oldest operating airline in the world based on foundation date after KLM Royal Dutch Airlines, Avianca, Qantas, Aeroflot Russian Airlines, Czech Airlines, and Finnair respectively. However, it is still the oldest airline still operating in the United States of America today as the corporate headquarters of Delta along with its main hub and base of operations is located on the grounds of Hartsfield Jackson Atlanta International Airport which is located approximately seven miles south of downtown Atlanta, Georgia. Delta also has operational hubs located at Detroit Metropolitan Wayne County Airport, located in Romulus, Michigan, which is the uh, suburb of Detroit, Michigan, Los Angeles International Airport, located in Los Angeles, California, Minneapolis-St. Paul International Airport, located in Minneapolis, Minnesota, John F. Kennedy International Airport, located in Jamaica, Queens, New York, LaGuardia Airport, located in East Elmhurst, Queens, New York, Salt Lake City International Airport, located in Salt Lake City, Utah, and Seattle Tacoma International Airport, located in Seattle, Washington. And the focus city hubs of Delta are located at Logan International Airport, located in Boston, Massachusetts, Cincinnati Northern Kentucky International Airport, located in Hebron, Kentucky, and Raleigh Durham International Airport, located in Cedar Fork Township, Wake County, North Carolina. Delta currently flies to 325 destinations worldwide on six inhabited continents, as Delta is one of nine airlines to own this distinction of permanently flying to all six inhabited continents, along with Air Canada, Air China, British Airways, Emirates, Korean Air, Qantas, Qatar Airways, and South African Airways, respectively, with the operating fleet of 868 aircraft that includes 79 Boeing 767-300s in which two of those are the Boeing 767-300s in which those are scheduled to be phased out by the end of 2018 of this year 56 Boeing 767-300ERs including this one and 21 Boeing 767-400ERs with no unfulfilled orders pending on this aircraft type and as of June 2018 or at the time of this video review posting Delta currently operates as a certified three-star airline carrier, according to the international airline review firm, Skytrax Magazine, and the Boeing customer code for Delta is 32. All right, let's take a look at the front of the box you see here. We're going to start at the top left side first. You see the engraved gold Gemini 2 decal. You see the Delta widget logo, the Delta title, as well as the Sky Team logo including the computer generated picture of the aircraft, which is in the center of the box, the aircraft type, the 1-200 scale diecast aircraft model, as well as the item number information at the lower part of the box. Now you're looking at the back of the box, we see more Gemini Jets information, including their Facebook social media page information, as well as the Boeing official license product decal you see at the lower part of the box. Now you're looking at the top of the box where you see the engraved gold Gemini 200 decal as well as the warning information at the top of the box. Now you're looking at the bottom of the box which features a flap and you see the engraved gold Gemini 200 decal as well as their website information. You can go there, GeminiJets.com and you see it's played at the uh, flap on the lower part of the box. Now you're looking at the uh, left side of the box where you see all the Gemini Jets information in gray gold Gemini 20 decal, the 1-200 scale diecast model information, the computer generated picture of the aircraft, the aircraft type as well as the item number on the left side of the box. Now you're looking at the right side of the box, the same information on the left side of the box that I showed you earlier on. Okay. 
now you're looking at the front of the box at this angle and the angle is the box is laying down on the table and as I mentioned earlier it's just a flat part right here which is right there then we'll flip that up right there and what you see there is the partial foaming which just protects the model and the model stand so I'm going to take this part off and let you see the model and the model stand inside of the packaging box check it out there it is everyone the model and the model stand inside of the packaging box I'm going to take all that out alright now you're looking at the metal model stand out of the packaging box and this is what it looks like here folks it's very metal it's very strong and sturdy and secure to say the least and you see that pattern there folks the purpose of that black pattern is to prevent your model from being damaged or scratched when you put your model on this particular model stand okay with all that information out of the way about the history of delta airlines and how they came to existing it's still operating strongly as we speak all the details here on this box right here plus the uh, model stand and since there's no gear replacements for this particular model with no further ado everyone here is the model out of the packaging box check it out there it is everyone the Gemini Jets Delta Boeing 767-300 ER extended range featuring the blended winglets in their current livery scheme in a 1-200 scale model now let me go into some information about this nice looking livery here that I've grown accustomed to. Okay, this is Delta's current livery scheme, which is called Upward and Onward. This livery scheme was actually introduced on April 30th, 2007, after the airline emerged from bankruptcy restructuring, as this livery continues to honor Delta's past heritage, while at the same time reflecting a modern look for an airline that is totally focused on the overall experience. So, with all that information out of the way about this livery here, how it came about, let's get down to the nitty gritty and let me show you all the details on this aircraft model. Shall we? Let's check it out. Alright, we're going to start at the front of the aircraft here on the port side where you see the nose gears right here, the nose gear struts, the nose gear door, the Peter tube and the static ports, what have you, the nose cone the cockpit windows as well as the windshield wipers I'm gonna give you a better visual view of those later on in the review but you see this uh, number right here on the nose door 1704 1704 is the actual fleet number this number can also be seen on the tail fin of the aircraft I'll let you see that as well check it out there it is you see the fleet number on the tail fin of the aircraft as well Alright, we're still on the port side of the aircraft where you see the nice little Sky Team logo by the L1 door, which is right here. And Delta became a member of the Sky Team Alliance along with the area of Mexico, Air France, and Korean Air as one of the four founding members on June 22, 2000, which consists of 20 airline members from five inhabited continents. And then you see the little decal displayed by the L1 door, which is right here. And this decal indicate that Wi-Fi is available and aboard this aircraft. That's that Wi-Fi decal. And now let's check out the, uh, the red rigid logo right here by the Delta title right here. And this is Delta's current logo. And the modern updated three-dimensional red widget was unveiled and introduced on April 30th, 2007. The same day that Delta emerged from bankruptcy restructuring. And at the same time, continue to honor the heritage of the most famous version of the Delta Widget logo that was introduced in 1959. And as you can see, the Delta title right there by the Red Widget logo. And then you see the inboard landing light right there as well. I'm going to give you a better visual view of it. Check it out. Now you got a better visual view of the inboard landing lights right here. Which is very detailed and realistic. They don't have the jewels on there, but it's about as realistic as you can get as you can see there. Alright, we're at the center of the aircraft here on the uh, port side still where you see the uh, the landing bogey gears here on the port side, the landing gear struts as well as the landing gear doors. But more important, you're looking at the nice little engine there and these are the General Electric CF6-80C2B6F engines that are used on this particular Delta Boeing 767-300ER extended range jetliner featuring the blended wings. You also see the engine cone there as well. But I'm going to turn this aircraft model let you see the front of the engines. And sad to tell you, on this particular model, the turbo fan blades do not spin, but I'm going to let you see them anyway. Check it out. Now you're looking at the front of the engines here. You see there, featuring the engine strike right there. As I mentioned earlier, the uh, turbo fan blades do not spin. But uh, you see the, uh, the engine spill in there. You know, it's about as realistic as it gets. 
You also see the inboard landing lights that I showed you earlier, as well as the landing bogey gears here on this uh, port side, the landing gear struts, as well as the landing gear doors. Now you're looking at the front of the engines here on the starboard side, featuring the engine strikes. But sad to tell you, the turbo fan blades do not spin over here either, as you can see here. That's the only downside on this model, but it's all good. But at least you got a, a view of the inboard landing lights right here, as well as the landing bogey gears here on the starboard side, the, the landing gear struts, as well as the landing gear doors. Now you're looking at the front of the aircraft, we got a better visual view of the cockpit windows. The windshield wipers, the nose cone, you see the 767-300ER uh, title underneath the nose cone, as well as the uh, nose gear lights inside the nose gear doors right in there, the nose gear struts, as well as the realistic nose gears. So with that said, I'm going to take it back to the port side because there's more information to share with you over there as well. Let's roll. Now we're still on the port side where you see this nice looking blended winglet on this aircraft featuring the red navigation light. And this specialized wingtip device is actually called the blended winglets. And the purpose of these blended winglets is to increase total efficiency by reducing vortex interference and drag with laminar airflow near the tip of the wings, which enhances the payload range performance, resulting in decreasing fuel consumption by 4 to 6%. As these blended winglets were actually created and designed in 2002 by Aviation Partners Boeing, whose headquarters is located in Seattle, Washington. However, these blended wings wasn't actually installed on this aircraft until December 2011. All right, we're at the back of the aircraft here on the port side where you see the a uh, AFT bolt bend door right here. And then above the windows there, you see the American flag decal, which is next to the registered ship number. And this flag decal represents the country where Delta currently operates from as one of the major flag carriers of the United States of America. And then the registration ship number next to the American flag decal is registration ship number M174DZ. Registration ship number M174DZ. This is actually Delta 68 Boeing 767-300 jetliner that actually entered the airline's fleet. And the first test flight on this aircraft took place on October 28, 1998 and was delivered to Delta on November 5, 1998. And at the time of this video review posting, Delta is currently the world's largest operator of this aircraft type with 56 operating in service as of June 2018 or at the time of this video review post. Alright, we're at the back of the aircraft here on the port side where you see the Delta logo that's displayed on the tail fin of the aircraft which is this right here. The Delta logo that's displayed on the tail fin of the aircraft as you can see here, it actually symbolizes the iconic logo pointing in a northwest direction due to the airline's merger with Northwest Airlines which took place on October 29, 2008. All right, you also see the fleet number right there on the top of the tail fin. Now you're looking at the APU exhaust, which man, if you don't know what APU stands for, it stands for auxiliary power unit. And there's a hole right there, which is very realistic in detail right there. And then that's the strobe light right there by the APU exhaust. Now you're looking at the Delta Boeing 767-300ER from the rear view angle. All right, we're at the front of the aircraft here on the uh, starboard side where you see the nose gears right here, the nose gear struts, the nose gear door featuring the uh, fleet number 1704. You see the Peter tubes and the static ports, what have you, the nose cone, the cockpit windows, the windshield wipers, the Sky Tina logo, the door latch right there, real de detailed and realistic, the Delta title as well as the red widget logo by the Delta title, as well as the front bolt bin, I mean the front containing loading door right there. Now you're looking at the center of the aircraft where you see the inboard land lights right here that I showed you earlier, as well as the General Electric CF680C2B6F engines right here, featuring the engine cones, as well as the uh, landing bogey gears here on the uh, starboard side, featuring the landing gear struts, as well as the landing gear doors. Now you're looking at the blended winglet here on the starboard side featuring the green navigation light that's next to this blended winglet. Now you're looking at the back of the aircraft here on the starboard side where you see the rear cargo containing loading door here, the American flag decal, the registration ship number, as well as the, uh, the red rigid logo that's planted here on the tail fin of the aircraft, as well as the fleet number. 
Now, before I show you the aerial bird's eye view of this aircraft model, as well as the undercarriage belly view of this aircraft model for detail, I'm gonna let you check out one feature, which is the rolling gears. Rolls pretty good, all right. It tilts, it tilts by itself. And the nose gears even swivels as well. There, as well as there, okay? So, with that being said, allow me to show you the aerial bird's eye view of this aircraft model. Let's check it out. Now you're looking at this aircraft model from the bird's eye view. We're going to start at the front where you see the nose cone, the windshield wipers, the cockpit windows. You see the Sky Team logo on both sides, the Delta Title and the Wet Rigid logo on both sides as well, the anti collision beacon light, another high frequency antenna. That's the satellite communications antenna there. That's the Wi Fi antenna there. The ADF antennas in 3D. Another high frequency antenna. That's the tail there. And the horizontal stabilizer right there as well as over there. Now you see the little two dots on the edge of the uh, horizontal stabilizer as well as over here. Those are the illuminator lights that light up this tail here when it flies during nighttime. Now let's check out the wings, folks. You see the uh, wing walkway as well as the engines, as well as the flaps, slats, ailerons, spoils, what have you. The fuel dump valve and the blended winglet right there. Let's check out this side here. The wing walkway. The engines, as well as the flaps, slats, aileron spoilers, what have you. The fuel dump valve, as well as the blue blended winglet on this side of the aircraft as well. Now you're looking at the undercarriage belly view of this aircraft, where you see the nose cone, the 767-300 titles, that's the aircraft variant, the closed nose gear door, the open nose gear door featuring the uh, fleet number on it, the nose gear. See the, uh, the undercarriage belly view here is painted in blue, as well as the Delta titles right there, including the uh, anti collision beacon light right there in between the D there. The hole where the stand goes in at, the Gemini Jets title, uh, the high frequency antenna there, pressure lead valve, uh, the tail skid bumper right there. That purpose of that is to uh, prevent the uh, aircraft from being damaged or scratched when it take off and land. The APU housing doors right there, the horizontal stabilizers underneath. There's the gears right here. Yep, they tilt, pretty impressive. See the engine there, as well as the flap, slats, and around spoilers, the fuel dump valve, as well as the blended wheel. Check over this side here, folks. The gears over here, tilt, perfect. The engines, as well as the flap, slats, aileron spoilers, fuel dump valve, and the blended winglet on this side of the aircraft as well. Now, since I'll show you the area of bird's eye view of this aircraft model, as well as the undercarriage belly view of this aircraft model, now I'm going to put on the model stand that came with the model. So with no further ado, everyone, here is the model on the stand. Check it out. All right, fine, got this model on the stand with no problem, no hesitation. As you see it being displayed in the takeoff landing position with the model on the stand here on the port side. Now you're looking at the front of the aircraft in the takeoff landing position with the wings flexing a little bit, including the blended winglets with the model on the stand. Now you're seeing the model being displayed in the takeoff landing position with the model on the stand here on the starboard side. And you're seeing this model being displayed in a takeoff landing position from the tail cam angle with the model on the stand. Alright, since there's no gear replacements for this particular model, I'm going to go ahead and take this model to stand and go ahead and wrap up this model review with the seating configuration and where they utilize this aircraft from, okay? Alright, now let's talk about the seating configuration. Delta has five seat and configurated versions that they use on their Boeing 767-300ER extended range version. However, on this particular Delta Boeing 767-300ER extended range jetliner featuring the blended winglets, it seats 211 passengers in a three-class configurated cabin layout. Now here's the breakdown everyone from rows 1 to 9, which will be from here to about right here. Row 9 has no window. You have 36 Delta 1 business class seats in row 16 to 21, which will be from here to about right here. You have 32 Delta Comfort Plus class seats in rows 22 to 42, which will be from here all the way back to the rear of the aircraft. 
you have an additional 143 economy class seats, which brings a total of 211 seats. And finally, Delta currently employs their Boeing 767-300 ERs, extended range version jetliners on routes from Atlanta to Los Angeles, Seattle, New York JFK, San Francisco, Frankfurt, Germany, London Heathrow, Paris Charles de Gaulle, Brussels, Belgium, Santiago, Chile, Zurich, Switzerland, Switzerland, sorry about that, and Lisbon, Portugal. From Detroit to Frankfurt, London Heathrow, Paris Charles de Gaulle. From Los Angeles to Atlanta and New York JFK. From Minneapolis, St. Paul to Honolulu and London Heathrow. From New York JFK to Accra, Ghana, Seattle, Amsterdam, Frankfurt, Germany, Zurich, Switzerland. London Heathrow, Los Angeles, San Francisco, Sao Paulo, Brazil, Bern, Tigo, Brussels, Belgium, Copenhagen, Atlanta, and Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. From Orlando to Amsterdam and Sao Paulo, Brazil. From Salt Lake City to Amsterdam, Paris, Charles de Gaulle, London Heathrow, and Honolulu. From Seattle to Amsterdam, Atlanta, Beijing Capital, New York JFK, Seoul Ichion, Shanghai Pudong, and Tokyo Narita. From Newark to Paris, Charles de Gaulle, and Amsterdam, and from Portland to Amsterdam, from Cincinnati to Paris Charles de Gaulle, from Indianapolis, Indiana to Paris Charles de Gaulle, and from Raleigh, Durham to Paris Charles de Gaulle. Well, everyone, this will conclude this model review. I like to know if you got this model or you plan on getting this model. To my surprise, this model is still available to uh, get your hands on. I will do it real quickly. I also have a couple more Deltas, the Delta uh, uh, the CS100 that they supposed to start flying next year and the Delta 777-200LR, which I'll do at a later date. So with that said, take care. God bless. Stay tuned. There's more model content coming. Peace.